Hello again. Uh, let me introduce you, Mr. Dimitri uh, Chastuhin. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm really bad in pronouncing, pronouncing those surnames. And he will talk about uh, breaking forecasting and anti forecasting SAP portal and J2EE en uh, engine. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, guys. My name is Dimitri, and I work. For ERP scan. be a good business application security expert. And what's more, I and my friends as organizer a hardcore security conference in Russia, Zero Nights. So if you heard about that, it's cool. And it's a little bit about my invisible friend. And uh, the last blah blah slide is about my company. It's called ERPSCAN. We are a developer of ERPSCAN security scanner for SAP, and we conduct security assessment of business application, embedded system, and mobile devices. So, agenda, what we speak about. First of all, what is it SAP security? Little bit about SAP log files, uh, about SAP portal and j 2 engine attacks, and how you can detect these attacks. Who knows what is SAP? Yes, one, two, three, guys. Perfect. Uh, so SAP is the most popular business application. Uh, over our files and installation all over the world, uh, near 40% of ERP market in Poland. And it's a very expensive system, but people spend an enormous amount of money to install it. And after installing, they forget about security. It's strange. In the ERP system, all business processes are performed, all critical information is stored, like financials, HR information, information about clients, and uh, very often companies not care about the security of this data. It's, as I said, it's very strange. Okay, SAP security, what goals often have an attacker? First of all, it's espionage. Uh, some kinds of stealing information, stealing financial information, corporate secret, uh, customer list, uh, HR data. Uh, the next one is fraud. Uh, false transaction modification of master data, modification of uh, uh, payments, orders, or something like that. And finally, sabotage. Uh, attacks like uh, denial of service, modification of financial reports, and also access to the technology network like a SCADA by trust relationship. Uh, it's possible because SAP system often is a place where all data, all company data uh, from other system comes, store and process. That's why it's possible to attack other system after uh, compromise uh, SAP. Maybe you observe the fact in the last years every security conference like Confidence has a topic about SAP. On this chart you can see how increased count of talks about SAP on security conference like uh, Black Hat, DEFCON, DeepSec. Uh, also increase the count of SAP security notes. It's a special document provided by SAP company which describe how to close the security issues in SAP components and all these charts means the SAP security grow up in the last years. And in SAP world, we have a myth. Uh, there are myths that SAP is not accessible and cannot be attacked from the internet. Uh, this is wrong. The system becomes more and more popular. Uh, cloud services and mobile solution appear. So more and more SAP services become accessible from the internet. We scan. 
uh, the big range of the IP address and aggregate this information about available through internet uh, SAP uh, services on our site sapscan.com. In this site you can find uh, how much more in random countries SAP uh, services available. And also, as you know, uh, company not are not interested in published information about their breaches and about uh, attacks on their SAP system. But by the way, there are a lot of internal breaches thanks to ancestry given authorization. For example, an employer by mistake buys hundreds of excavator instead of 10. It's really happened. Or these are no stories about uh, backdoors in custom maybe AP code. Uh, there is a logical question how you can find this evidence. Of course, SAP log and uh, SAP security audit journal can, will help you. But by statistic, uh, we see uh, the SAP administrator, administrators don't like logs. Only 70% use internet connection manager logs because uh, it's enabled by default. But security audit log in ABAP, only 10% use. Uh, table access logging, 4%. And message server log and SAP gateway access log, only 2%. It means if you get access to SAP and change, for example, table with you, salary, the most SAP administrator will not observe that. And finally, what do we see? A lot of research about SAP security on uh, random uh, security conference. Uh, we have real attacks happened, and we see a lack of login practice and many vulnerability in SAP which hard to close, and we need to monitor them. Italy, we should control everything, but this talk uh, has limits, so let's focus on the most critical area. Exist uh, at least four many entry point for attackers. First of all, attack client side services like uh, SAP GUI and SAP users. For solution of this problem, I think it's awareness of users. Next one, SAP router is a little service like a proxy which often control access to SAP from the internet. Uh, secure configuration and path management uh, will be solution against attack, especially path management. If you saw our latest advisories, you can see information about uh, remote code execution in SAP router. So don't forget about path. Uh, expose SAP service is a bigger problem in SAP because uh, ERP is a universal system and they consist many from many services. Many of them have a lot of bugs. So solution is simple. If you don't use some services, just disable them. And finally, SAP portal, SAP, SAP enterprise portal, and web servlets of J2 engine about these things I will be talking. Uh, I select this area because they have a lot of interesting issues. Every month we find a few zero days in the SAP portal, and this area consists of most critical SAP functionality. OK, let's start. SAP Enterprise Portal, what is it? Uh, uh, if simple, it's a SAP model which services as entry point to access to all data proceed in the system. It consolidates all the tools to work with SAP system through the web. And also many other systems located in corporate network connect to SAP portal. Uh, and of course, all critical business data company can be resolved through portal. And finally, uh, a portal often has access through the internet. For, in, for instance, uh, search engines also can help you find about 17 SAP portal in Poland. 17, 
according to Shona, and 11 according to Google. Okay, this slide show SAP portal architecture. You can see that it works on Java engine. SAP J2E has a lot of connection to other systems. The major entities in portal are iViews. It's a, like, it's a little program which runs on SAP portal uh, roles and application. And I have Mark read the connection which will be interesting for an attacker so he could get access to the critical information. Uh, okay, hopefully now you understand that SAP portal is very important. Things which must be protected because provide access to critical data and contains a lot of connection to other system. And a little bit about SAP J2E logging. Uh, uh, so we can we, we can consider a free category of system events recording. System, it's uh, all system related security and administrative logs. Application, it's uh, all system events related to business logic. And finally, performance, reserved for single activity taking. All this log you can find in default location of this file in your systems. Also, you can find uh, some developer trace file. Okay, but activating logging is uh, not the best option for many reasons. Uh, sometimes we can see many sensitive information logs such as plain text, passwords, session IDs, and et cetera. But, not only, but not only this, causes of system high load, many administrators are trying to turn off lo logging off. Uh, you can see this post on the SAP Community Network. It's a forum by SAP. These are a lot of different questions which are about how to disable logging because it requires a lot of system resources. Okay, now I will show you a few attack on SAP. Uh, first target is SAP Management Console. Uh, so how is a user notificated in portal? After a user inputs their login and password, they are assigned a session ID. If an attacker gets this session ID, he will notificate in the system. And how can he know the session ID? And SAP Management Console will help him. SAP Management Console it provides a common framework for centralized system management. It allows an administrator to see the trace files and log messages. It's not bad if you only use it sometimes and delete log after use. But uh, what we can't find in logs, right? Uh, for example, session IDs. File user interface dot log can take calculated session IDs. One will think this kind of information should be protected by notification, but it's wrong. Uh, it's possible to send uh, this SOAP request and specify the name of the needed log file. In our cases, it's user interface dot log. And so it's enough to read. It's enough to read it and get session IDs and successfully identified into SAP portal. Pretty simple. Uh, to defend your system, uh, don't use trace level equal free on production system or delete trace files. And also, you must mask security sensitive data in HTTP access log. Uh, as I said, you can mask this. Uh, you must you must mask parameter like parameter like uh, gestation, uh, request parameter j j password, j username, and some HTTP headers. Okay, away we think system. Let's look closer at SAP portal and the Java engine, which portal run on. Several utilities come with SAP and portal, which work on J2E. Some of them have a critical functionality which is protected by notification. Notification can be declarative, which use descriptive files, and programmatic, which use user management engine. Let's talk about attacks which target the declarative scheme. Uh, 
the main entity, entity of this scheme is security role. Developer defends necessary rights and roles in descriptor files called web.xml and web.j2engine.xml. Look one of them on web.xml. This is web.xml file, uh, and we found some interesting text like a servlet name, specifies the name of a servlet. The tag, uh, HTTP method specifies the type of HTTP method which is used to grant access to the servlet, and role name specifies the name of the role which user must have to access to the servlet. Uh, in our case, uh, looks all, all good, all right. A user must have a zero administrator to execute a GET request to a servlet because only this method is specifying web XML. But what's happen if we use head method instead of GET? This method has only one difference from GET. It does not return the result of request. So, uh, so we can use head to bypass notification in servlet. Uh, now we need uh, simply have to find a servlet which performs some critical action on the server. It does not require response to work. And so we have found such servlet. It's called CTC. CTC allow performing operation with user in Java stack. This means we can send request to create a user and another one to add them to a privileged group like uh, administrator. On this slide, I show how if you can send two head requests, one for creating user conf with password idents, and after that, we send another head request to add them to a group administrator. Only two simple head requests, and we administrate an SAP portal without any notification. Very simple attack. And again, to protect your system, install this SAP node. Also, you must check all web.xml files. You can do it with our tools. We call it epscanweb.xml checker and disable uh, unused uh, servlets. And of course, you can detect this attack in a log files, log file called response. Dot TRC. Actually, you you can so uh, head request. Actually, uh, SAP doesn't use head request at all. So if you see any, you can be sure that somebody is interested in your portal too. Another attack version. Assume the web XML also requires notification for the hit method, and hit is mentioned in HTTP meta tag. Uh, let's look closely at the descriptor and see more text like a servlet class and URL pattern. The, this means that if a user perform a get or head request to the critical action servlet located in URI slash admin slash critical, then the user must have administrator rights to access to the servlet. Uh, and if we could call the servlet by URL which is not specifying the tag URL pattern, we could bypass notification. And in SAP, has a tool called Invoke Servlet, which allow calling servlet by their class name only. And it's, uh, this is a normal request. It's, this is request true invoker servlet. Uh, so invoker servlet let us call any servlet by its class name only and so we can bypass your royal pattern and bypass notification. And again we, we have to find an interesting servlet with critical functionality and we think why don't we use uh, cities again. A deep research shows that on top of creating user, it allows execution command in the SCP server operating system. So here you can see the file reading process and as a result of the ID command working on the server. Uh, so simple action have led us the operating system of SAP portal without authentication again. We can 
create user, we can upload backdoor, we can sniff traffic. To defend your system, you must install the latest subnode and, of course, disable invoker and uh, enable invoker surveillance globally options. And let's look uh, at the details log. Here we can see the trace left after ad adding the user with the help of vulnerability. It's clearly visible that Java user was created successfully. Uh, and let's compare traces. Let's compare the difference between legal user creation and user that vulnerability to create the evil users. On the left here, you can see the uh, legal users, which was created with uh, true user management engine, and a creator, administrator, and his ID. On the right side, you user created via vulnerability through CTC was originally inserted by guest and with null IDs. So this is a trick how you can detect attack and go next. XSS. Uh, apart from the classic vector with session ID stealing here another trick. In the portal uh, was a tool called EPCF. EPCF provides a JavaScript API designed for the client-side communication between portal components and the portal core framework. IViews can access the EPCM object from every portal page or iframe. Every IView of the portal contains the EPCM object. For example, EPCF user for transcend user data buffer for IView. So using XSS, we can inject EPCF instruction and access to the user data like that. And to defend your system, install this SCP node. And of course, uh, all this can be found in HTTP logs. So don't forget about that. Uh, another vector. Uh, somebody steals, uh, somebody can steal an uh, account using XSS, CSRF, sniffing, or something like that, and tries to modify the severity level of law. How administrator can detect after attack after that. It's example how uh, attack can change severity. And it's a little trick how you can detect attacks. While SAP portal is a complicated system with many iframes and internal modules, you'll be able to see in logs only the main links. Uh, post data uh, is also undetectable. Many critical actions are not taxable because they are originated as an included script. Uh, so there is no trace in default log. Mm. Uh, sometimes we can find information by indirect things and detect uh, attack by indirect thing. For instance, when uh, legal user uh, use request, any portal pages is required to ask server to load many icons. Uh, because different forms have accent icons. So client often loads image during actions. More actions have, have icons. They have to be loaded from the server. Usually, uh, legal users have them all in cache, and attackers usually don't have them, so they make requests to the server, and when he try to make attack, these icons be loaded from the server. That's how we can identify potentially malicious action. But there should be correlation with a real user activity, false, posi false, posi uh, false positive are possible, like a new le legal user action all, or all user clear cache. As I said, it's only a little trick which m may help you to detect attack. Directory traversal, another classic attack. There is peculiarity for SAP portal. To bypass the directory, not classic dot dot slash technique had to be used, but rather something like dot dot exclamation mark 25 2F. This vulnerability was closed, but the patch was bypassed, and we are still can read the, any file from the system. To defend your system, 
install this zip node. And try to find the special signatures in your log files. Don't forget about that. Okay, breaking SAP portal. What if there are files in the SAP, in the SAP portal server operating system which store encrypted password, admin password, JDBC password, or something like that? If so, we should find them as well as the key to decrypt the password. We also need a vulnerability which would allow file reading. If we read these two files uh, and decrypt them, we will access portal on behalf of the administrator. Okay, let's try to do it. How we can read the file? Directory traversal, boring. Uh, <laughs> command execution, boring. Okay, the popular in the last years uh, external XML entity. This attack is executed by injection into uh, an XML document a request to paste an arbitrary document from the server. Let's look for XXC. As I said, it's injection of Malikos request into XML packet. This is an example of typical post request in portal. I think it's very scared. It has many parameters. So there is something like XML in the middle of it. We will try to inject XXC there and ask to return us uh, slash etc slash Whatever file. And it's work, uh, the request file has been pasted into the error message. We have an error based XXE. We can read the file, but what to read? As a SAP documentation says something about SAP security storage, a place where Java passwords are stored. Let, uh, and we know that this, this password stored in secure sexstore.properties files. Try to read it and great. It seems to be exactly what we need. The word admin and password hint that we are on the right way. But just as expected, the file is encrypted and uh, we need a key. Uh, we need a key and we, will, we were surprised when we found key in the same directory uh, near encrypted password files. It's strange, but it's true. We, we read uh, encrypted passwords, uh, we read uh, key to decrypt it, and we can get clear text passwords. We are on our way to complete administrative access to the SAP portal, so it's easy to and to defend your system, you must install this SAP node, restrict and restrict read access to the file sexstore.properties and sexstore.key. Often these, these files are located in the one directory. And of course, you can detect this attack in log file. And with default settings, portal logs show only the presence of the post request. Your query query uh, not be a body of requests. It's possible to enable full login in Visual Administrator, and the, you need to manually analyze that all requests if there are any X, XE attack. It's hard, but it's no another way. And next attack. In SAP, we have uh, many places which allow us to upload some stuff. It can be images, HTML files, jar files, etc. And sometimes these options are available without any notification. Uh, on this example, uh, attacker can upload HTML file with XSS payload. After that, he can get linked to this document and steal cookies, for example. Uh, this attack also can be found in uh, for, to detect this attack, you also can use trick with icon loading, and of course, you can detect uh, its attack in trace files, and also you must enable a file ex extension and size filter and activate malicious script filter. Okay. 
Okay, so we have uh, got access to the portal uh, this way or the other. Uh, how can it be exploited? Uh, what is the post exploitation? As I had before, portal have uh, multiplier links to other models and the system, which makes great ground for future attacks. For instance, XXA vulnerability, which I have described above, uh, can be used in a server side request forgery attacks. Server side record the attacks or a SRF is attack which allow us to make service A send our data to service B and service A and service B can be on different hosts. We can manipulate some fields of packet B within packet A. Various SRF attacks depends on how many fields we can control on packet B. On this slide, you can see the approximate attack vector. We cannot get direct access to the HTTP server on B, but we know that the service on A can do it. So we send a special configured packet to A, and the packet makes it and execute the request that we need. The best way to do it uh, is use an XXE vulnerability and specify the goofer URL in it. This way we can send a normal TCP packet. SRF allow us to attack service, services in the internal corporate network, exploit operation system vulnerability, exploit all TCP bugs and which have been closed and patched by closing access to the port, bypass security policies, bypass uh, firewall. Uh, uh, more information about this type of attacks you can see on our Black Hat presentation, SRF versus business critical application. And another vector of post exploitation uh, say to simply search for the world passwords or top secret in all documents stored in SAP knowledge measurement, you will be surprised by the result. It's very interesting, true. Uh, some things about forensic and anti-forensic. As you remember, there are some no problems. If all trace is enabled, it can degrade speed. It can also occupy all the storage volume. Here. But there are also trouble for security monitoring. Finally, come on anti forensic case. From most, uh, I'm considered all case in the, the following way. We can float in logs, uh, override logs with trash request, delete logs, it's not so easy, but possible, change logs, and disable logs. For this, you need server restart. There is a lot of interesting and expected things in SAP logging infrastructure, including ABP. But while we are speaking about the SAP portal, only a few logs we can discuss. So there are five main logs file. Each has the size, size limits. Maximum file size is 10 megabytes. And each moment of the time, there is uh, only one active log files. Others are waiting to be, re to be rewrited. So, name are with indexes file from zero to four. If we log with ID zero reaches the maximum size, SAP will open log with ID equal one. Then from two, then from three, etc. When log four excites the max size, SAP will start the writing into the log with ID equal zero again. So it's take about 20 minutes to rewrite completely all five logs. Uh, there will be not be any normal logs expect of generated trash request. It's possible by, for example, burp, burp suit or something like that. But log flooding is very suspicious activity. And if administrator sees such request, he will start the investigated immediately. It's, it's normal. Let's try another case. As I, as it was said before, SAP operated with only one active log. This log is locked for writing, but it's possible to edit any other non-active log. So we can, while we can edit, while we can edit, we can also delete it. So attacker should overflow an active log and when it become non-active, just to delete the file with attack traces. 
โอเคสองลอกกิมสอง Do you remember about five log files with HTTP logs? And the fact they are usually rewritten. Really, the story. And if the attacker doesn't know some facts about SAP logging, I can check. It's possible to catch him. SAP doesn't back up of these five logs after all of them reach the, the maximum size. SAP creates a zip archive, and only after the Continues to rewrite it, but if SAP doesn't care even about logs, who cares about backups? Uh, overflow future still working. It's necessary to del to delete back backups first. So, and finally, uh, we can disable log. Uh, it's necessary to remember that even if you know about their hearing, it's possible to turn it off. Uh, it's related not only to HTTP log, but to many other server logs. So it's a global setting that requires rebooting of SAP system. But we can still able to delete them. And while you cannot disable ar archive of logging, you can disable, just disable logging. There still exists duplicate of HTTP logging, but only URL queries. But in actually show nothing specific, and yes, you still can delete them. And I ask, finally, uh, security features for SAP. It's a patching, uh, of course, security configuration, uh, of course, enable HTTP trace with masking, uh, malicious script filter, log archiving, uh, of course, additional place for log storage uh, and monitoring of security events. You can use own script and some pass common patterns or use our tool because we monitor all popular attacks and can detect them. And in conclusion, I can say that your system called and should be protected from this attack. We work closely with SAP to make the platform more secure but all our efforts will go on vain if customers do not perform several necessary security procedures like uh, SAP guides, regular security assessment, code review, segregation and use. And many of these research issues can be disclosed now because of our goal relationship with SAP security response team. However, if you want to be the first who will see new attacks and demo, follow us on Twitter and that's all. <laughs> if you have a question. Uh, one second, okay? I will give you a microphone. Uh, is there a possibility to hide J session in SAP uh, but not lost information of logs? How high uh, J session? J session uh, ID. Yeah, you can. It's login, but I'd like to uh, force to simply uh, not collect this information, and but keep all information of logs, of events in logs. I said no. One second. You can configure. Simply, I'd like to. Uh, hmm. Okay, on the, on the, uh, on the, in headers. Yes, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, if there is no other question, thank you very much for your speech. Thank you. And